Welcome out. Time for us to sit down. It's our first realistically interview of the 2023-24 season as Dean Finnerty, our newest interim coach, joining us, the yep. interim rodeo coach. Sad to see Seth go, but Dean, congratulations, first of all, on getting the job. How does it feel to, to kind of step up a role into the head coaching shoes? Nerve-wracking. Yep, I'm sad to see Seth go, too. I enjoyed being an assistant coach, but looking forward to being the uh, head coach and seeing where we can go with the program. You've been here a while, uh, five years now with Seth. You came on as soon as he came into the program. Yep. What have you learned about El Trip that made you want to stick around with with, uh, with this program, even when Seth went to UW? Oh, mainly it's the students. Those kids were excited about our program. They wanted to be a part of it and excited about us coaching, so I just wanted to stay and, and still be a part of their lives and see if we where we could go with everything. Where do you think this program set up to go? We'll, we'll, we'll obviously dive into this a little bit more as the interview goes on, but just overall, when you see things, the facilities, the kids that are coming in, the the the, the relationships that have been built around town as far as the, the livestock you can bring in, how, how have you seen this program develop the last five years? Oh, it's come a long ways. We've taken more kids progressively every year to the college finals. Uh, the athletes we're bringing in are better. Uh, just the opportunities we're presenting them and they're presenting us has grown exponentially and and uh, we've I think we can accomplish a lot of things we've got some good students coming in and uh, I look forward to it and see how far we can take them now you and I have I, I've gotten a, I've gotten you on a couple of interviews every once in a while we snuck you on one at the CNFR we got you on one of the podcast interviews but we haven't really gotten to delve into who Dean Finnerty is that much lately so <laughs> that's going to be our big question right now is is give us the background give us the bio the the one minute the 60 second spiel on Dean Finnerty uh, I was born and raised about an hour north of here at Wheatland uh, ranched my whole life I went to college at the University of Wyoming for two years and wrestled there and then I went to Shattered State and uh, played football, wrestled, and ended up rodeoing there. And uh, got my teaching certificate from there. I got my BS in teaching, secondary education, industrial arts. Uh, I mainly have ranched and rodeoed my whole life. I taught school for eight years. I've coached high school wrestling for, geez, probably 20 years and uh, junior high football for eight. And uh, raised two wonderful boys. And. Uh, Pretty simple life, but it's been a good one. Always good when you can kind of stay local with all that life, too. But the, the life took you around a little bit, too. The thing you didn't mention is you did some pro rodeo oh, for a while as well. Yeah, I rodeoed my whole entire <laughs> life. I've, I've had my fresh, fresh in the car for 36 years now. And, and uh, yeah, I tried to make finals for a few years, came close, didn't quite make it, but enjoyed every aspect of it. And, yeah, wouldn't change it for anything. That's another nice thing to be adding to the legacy of El Trip coaches coming in here. Seth obviously had a, a lot of success on the pro side of things in bull riding and saddle bronc, but you you give yourself a little, you cut yourself a little bit short. You were one spot from the national finals rodeo about yep. what you were telling me. Yep, one time. So yep. It's it's a it, that's something that brings students here though, is, and that's something that I hear from the, the athletes, particularly the bulldoggers, which is what your forte was. They really think that they can learn a lot from you. How do you try and teach a kid when it comes to, to coaching styles and and not messing up what's gotten them to this point, but also adding and building on it? Oh, I just try to improve what they're doing. I think we can learn something from everybody, and if we can, you can tweak their method just a little bit and make them that much quicker, it'll be better for them in the long run. If they score their horse better if they're reading cattle better. Just little things, I think, make a big difference for all of them. You're uh, you're going to be helped a little bit, too, with Vicky coming back as well. Yeah. How, how much does that take some pressure off of you when you know there's going to be at least one familiar face that stuck around? Oh, it'll be awesome. Vic's, Vic's a plus to this program. She's great with the students. She's, she's a good leader. She knows a lot of things and knows a lot of people, so they can really help the program out. Talking about the region now, it, you've been around this region again pretty much your entire life as far as growing up around here and even competing at Shadron. What excites you about where El Trip's at and kind of poised at in this region right now? Oh, I think they're I think they're right on the edge of being great. I mean, we've ended up third in our region the last probably two, three years, both men's and women's teams. The potential there to be in the top two, if not win the region. We've got to, if we can get these kids believing in themselves well enough that I think we can be there. They just, they have that potential. And you said you had 40 kids on the roster coming in. A lot of that coming from Seth and what oh, he's yeah. helped to bring in. But that's yep. put, that's starting to put El Trip on the map as far as a place the kids want to come and and be a part of a big team like that, which isn't isn't traditional for JUCOs. Yeah, it is. It's been good. Seth's recruited well. Our kids El actually help recruit. They're telling how much... They like our program, so they're bringing kids in, and it's actually been really beneficial. And like I said, Seth did a great job of recruiting kids, and uh, 
Surprisingly enough, our kids all stayed. They didn't go to Laramie. They stayed with us. and So that's exciting that they want to be a part of the program. Does that give you a little bit of a boost, too, when the kids have known you, been around you, and they give you that vote of confidence? It's not like Seth was trying to steal a bunch of oh, kids no, from us. No. but and Far from that, in fact. But does it give you that confidence when the kids say, even with all that, with nobody pushing them, they made the choice to come to you? Kind of like putting the dog in between the two parents and seeing which one it goes to? Yeah, it's awesome. I'm glad they stayed. We can use every one of them, and they're part of the program already. They know how everything runs, and it's a bonus both ways. Well, Dean, it's going to be a pleasure getting to know you a little bit more, folks. If you see this man around, be sure to go and say hi. Don't let him hide behind the scenes anymore because he's <laughs> got to be up in the front. But Dean Finnerty, our new interim coach on the rodeo side of things, looking forward to working with you through the year. Thanks, Caleb.